somewhere in the bowels of the city that never sleeps. Kevin McCullough, radio host with Salem Media. Is a man also not sleeping. Syndicated radio talk show host Kevin McCullough. And that guy would like a word with you. Many of you know him from his looks for Damas. Of course that Kevin show is going to be great. The only thing that could be greater, of course, would be that Donald show. But we don't have that, so we have that Kevin show. Featuring the music of Dick Tunney and the Dream in Color Orchestra. And tonight, she is one of the fastest women swimmers on planet Earth. That's actually a woman, Riley Gaines. He's T-Square, Tom Harris, Zach and Maggie White, and their music, along with actress and director Sam Sorbo. And don't call her Mrs. Hercules. And now, from Times Square, where he just lost this week his long drawn out battle to become the Czar of Rats for the city of New York. Here, here's that Kevin. really understand, ladies and gentlemen, why all of my business needs to be broadcast. It's uh, a little bit disturbing, Dave. Thanks, but no thanks. He's not wrong, though. The uh, there is there is a there <laughs> in this city. There is a job that is uh, held exclusively for the czar of rats, the rat czar, as uh, Mayor Adams. Um, pointed out this week uh the city has a little bit of a problem has been basically since uh, mayor de blasio um emptied all of the jail cells and sewers just let everything come out anymore uh but anyway so he, they have this this contest and as you can see bloomberg reported that it pays between 120 and 170 thousand a year to basically be the rat czar um, and, and this is a very, th th this is pretty well compensated. The, the spokesperson for the mayor makes 211,000. I, I'm, I don't have the stats in front of me as to what mayor Adams himself is getting, but 170,000, 120,000 make a nice little chunk of change off of that. The problem is you have to go around and kill rats. And so that's what, um, Kathleen karate is going to do. For the city now, she's got a pretty big task because our rats are pretty legendary. You know, they they steal people's pizza. Sometimes they beat up the muggers in Times Square. Um, it's it's really not a very pretty job. So she's going to have to be tough for it. And I was interested to see how he described how the mayor uh, himself described the kind of qualifications for why he named uh, Kathleen Karate. Maybe no one else applied. Obviously, I wasn't their cup of tea. But here, here's here's the thing. Um, in order to get the mayor's attention, Karate had previously been a rat czar in another location. Believe it or not, the New York City public schools have a rodent pest counselor or pest control uh, officer. And the rodent pest control officer, th the job was get rid of the rats in the schools. Now, in order to get the job for the city, you'd think that someone with experience would be good. That, that would make sense. And you would think that they would have a really high proficiency rate. Turns out nothing in the New York City public schools really ever averages more than about a C minus. Because in her last post at the New York City public schools, Kathleen Karate had a 70% success rate amongst the New York City public schools, getting rid of the rats and reaching the compliance goals. So she only had to hit a C minus to get there. To, to, to get the job, the big job for the rat czar. So expect maybe about 65 to 70% of the rats 
to be controlled sometime within the next seven to 10 months. That's what I'm giving her. I think that's about how close it's going to be. All right, uh, let's go to the big board because we've got a lot of stuff to get to tonight. Um, Riley Gaines is not going to be with us in person tonight, but we are going to talk about her story. And I had hoped to get her on. Maybe maybe she'll be on with us next week. We'll, we'll see. But you, you know about the Riley Gaines. A week ago, she was out at the University of San Francisco giving a speech on why she she's not really all that kindly looking upon um, six foot four naked men changing in her locker room while staring at her. And because she said, I don't take too kindly to that, uh, a, a whole bunch of men that were dressed as women wanted to come and punch her. And they did. But one of them punched her in the face and another one punched her in the shoulder. Eh, punch, you know, it, it always does good. Th it's a good look for your movement when, when you've got men beating up women right that's that's a that's a that's a good look right great pr strategy there anyway uh she's now been in higher demand than ever before she's giving speeches all over the country uh she we're, we're gonna delve into her story but she may be with us a week from tonight but she's we're gonna we're gonna give you the nitty-gritty because it really is worth uh discussing tonight then we're going to Times square tom harris uh was affectionately dubbed t-square by one Michael Che when he performed at Caroline's in like their last year of operation here in the city, a world legendary famous uh, comedy club. Uh, but T-Square is going to take us tripping with T-Square to Times Square. Since that's where we come from, I thought it'd be fun to let you get to know the area a little bit, it, it, like a little virtual uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, and then Zach and Maggie White are going to be with us uh, this hour. Zach and Maggie, uh, talented, talented musicians, and they have written some really funny stuff. Uh, you don't get like super funny songs anymore, but tonight, pull up a cup of coffee and have a chuckle because the elephant in the room, and then when Caesar said to Brutus, it's going to be worth it totally. Good stuff. All right. And then we've got Sam Sorbo, um, who literally is lovely and beautiful. They, they just don't make him more lovely or beautiful uh, in Hollywood than Sam Sorbo. But she's a director on the new film that she's working on. So she's going to be with us and talk about why she made it. It's called Irreligious Faith. And we'll feature that in the um, we'll, we'll talk. We'll take a look at that in our number two tonight. All right. I want to do something just because I'm in a good mood. You, you've heard me on my radio show uh, and other places talk about the balance of nature. I take the balance of nature every day. I take three veggies, three fruits. I used to get uh, seasonal bronchitis every time the weather would change. I haven't missed an episode. We've been on that Kevin show. This is our 13th episode. We have not missed a one because I had the bronchitis. No bronchitis, fruits and veggies. Dr. Howard, the fruits and vegetables from Balance of Nature, custom uh, prescribed by him, the proprietary formula of how they get the fruits and veggies in the capsules. It's really amazing. But here's what I'm going to do tonight. Uh, by the way, if you want to get yours, 35% off, uh, dial 1-800-2468-751, 1-800-2468-751. Use my promo code, KMC, because it's Kevin McCullough, KMC. You're going to get 35% off your first order and free shipping. And if you drop my name, uh, the KMC, they're also going to throw in a complimentary health coach that they're not going to charge you for. But you got to use my name to get it. KMC, get a free health coach, 35% off your fruits and veggies. I take these every single day. I couldn't live without them. But tonight, if I, I'm going to give some away. I, I, I'm feeling generous. I want you to enjoy the benefit. I'm going to take the 15th person that emails me at kmcradio at gmail.com, kmcradio at gmail.com, and you will receive on my behalf a complimentary one-month supply of fruits and veggies. I'm just going to send them to you. Send me your address. Send me your phone number. And uh, send that to kmcradio at gmail.com uh, and put balance of nature in the, in the subject line. Put balance of nature in the subject line. Email me, kmcradio at gmail.com, kmcradio at gmail.com, and uh, put balance of nature or balance or fruits and veggies, whatever you want, in the subject line. Just let me know that you're emailing because of the contest and you want to get the uh, fruits and veggies all right uh like i said we've got a big show tonight we've got uh assignment desk weekend coming up in hour number two uh we have made progress on our very very important goal towards uh liberating 192 slaves this year i'll give you an update on that 
Looking forward to it. And we've got Sam Sorbo, Zach and Maggie. Almost called them Mac and Zaggy. I don't think, well, Zaggy would work, right? Zach and Maggie. They'd put them together. Anyway. Uh, and coming up next, uh, we're going to talk Riley Gaines. And a little bit later on, we visit Times Square with T-Square. I'm Kevin McCullough. This is That Kevin Show. <laughs> 